narcissists are cowards. They lack the courage to endure things that might be unpleasant or cause them discomfort. They are excessively afraid of danger or pain. They are constantly worried that something undesirable will occur or be done to them. They have no strength in the face of pain or grief. They are weak, fragile people who are deserving of contempt. Instead of standing up to their problems or difficulties, they choose to abandon their responsibility. While most of us were strong to overcome the pain or grief and not let it defeat us, or make us have to abandon our duty or responsibility, we might have endured some dangerous or harmful situations. We might have gone through some things that we didn't want to go through, but we made it through the other side and came out stronger than we were before. We remain true to ourselves, true to our beliefs, values and principles. We didn't run from who we are. We didn't abandon ourselves, what we believe in or what we value. The narcissist abandoned their duty, abandoned their responsibility, they were not strong enough to overcome the pain or grief. It defeated them. It caused them to abandon who they once were, the beliefs, values and principles that they once had. They made a choice to change their character and adopt different mental and moral qualities. They made a choice to respond differently to their surroundings. They chose to wear a mask. They chose to create a false appearance, to hide or disguise who they really are. They are not willing to stand up for anything. They run away from difficult situations. They wear a disguise. They create false attitudes and personalities. They do all of this to avoid their feelings of pain or grief or to develop an advantage over you. These are all acts of a coward. Most often they will not confront you or deal with you in a direct or argumentative way. They have no fight left in them and that is why they became narcissists. If they are at any risk of danger or harm, they are going to leave. They are the kind of people that will not remain in any situation where there is a risk of danger or harm. They lack the courage to endure anything dangerous or unpleasant. They abandon their own lives just to create this alternate reality or fake world. They created it because they were not willing to fight. They were not willing to struggle to overcome or strive to achieve something real. They believe that they are inherently deserving of privileges or special treatment without any trials and tribulations, without any struggles. They are never genuine, honest or authentic because they have no fight left in them. They have abandoned who they really are. And just as they have abandoned themselves, they are going to abandon you too. They are unable to endure hardship or pain. If anything gets too difficult or too complicated for them, they are going to leave. They will not remain in that situation. They will not fight to make anything work. They will not confront you or try to resolve anything. 
They will act tough or try to scare you, but it's all an act. It's designed to protect the fearful, weak, fragile person beneath that. This is why they always lie or deceive. They deliberately cause you to believe something that isn't true for their personal gain. They give you a mistaken impression. They cannot deal with you in a fair or honest way. They would be putting themselves in a position where they are destined to lose. This is why they have to create this false character and this alternate reality or fake world. They have to abandon who they really are to reduce the risk of them losing. This is why they always lie and try to deceive you. They are too fearful, weak and fragile to deal with reality. They have to wear a mask. They have to create a deceptive outward appearance, which then gives them a false sense of confidence. They may seem as though they are confident in their own abilities or character, but that's not really them. They have created a false character to exist in the alternate reality or fake world that they have created. It's all an illusion. It is a deceptive appearance or impression. When they are acting confident or acting tough or trying to scare you, it's all an act. If you put them under strain or pressure, they will give in or submit. They will not stand up for anything. They will not fight for anything. They will run and hide before they are willing to stand up and fight. They might try to defend their false personality, but if you question or confront the false personality, they will run from it too. Narcissists are cowards. They do not have the strength to struggle to overcome their problems or difficulties. They do not have the strength to struggle for what is morally good, justified or acceptable. They do not have the strength to stand up for anything. They have to intimidate, scare or manipulate you and then keep you in a state of confusion or uncertainty so that they can then influence and have power over you in a controlled environment that they have created. If you question or confront them, they will begin to feel or express their violent, uncontrollable anger. But that's just an attempt to intimidate or scare you. If it doesn't work, if it doesn't intimidate or scare you, if it doesn't get you to back down, they will leave. If they don't have the advantage to control or manipulate you, they are not going to remain in that situation. They are very fearful, weak, fragile people. They need to have an unfair advantage. They need to have the upper hand at all times. They need to contain you and trap you in their controlled environment where they have the advantage and the ability to control or manipulate you. They will not stand up for anything. They run from their problems or difficulties. They run from their struggles. That's why their lives are so unsettled. Their lives are so aimless, directionless and purposeless. The narcissist might have tricked you into believing that they are this calm yet powerful person. But underneath that, they are very fearful, fragile and weak. They run from reality. They run from the state of things as they, as they actually exist. They run from truth. They run from that which is true or in accordance with fact or reality. They run from themselves. And if they can run from themselves and live in this alternate reality or fake world with this fake personality, you should know that when things get too tough or when problems or difficulties begin to arise, they are going to run from you too. Thank you for watching, I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe.
click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries can email me at notrovercoaching at gmail.com. Check out the merchandise in the Narks Rover store where you can purchase your own Narks Rover t-shirt, tank top or mug. The link is in the video description. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.